you might think you know princess ships and how to get round them and where everything is, well the Sun Princess is completely different. In today's video, we're going to take a look at all my tips. <laughs> Hi, I'm Linz from Sweet Natured. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who is recording. So yes, Sun Princess practical ship tips. Let's get to know before you step on board. So what's your first tip, Lance? Okay, so one of the first things you might do when you get on board a princess ship is head to the sanctuary to book it. Well, at the front of the ship here, on Sun Princess, we have the sea view bar and the dome area. Now, as you can see, it's a port day today and it's very quiet. So we booked the sanctuary and we didn't really have to because here it's beautiful. It is gorgeous and it? it is very much sort of like the solariums that you see on the Royal Caribbean ships. Yes. But with even more in it. And there's more in it. We've got, we've got a hot tub, we've got cubbies, we've got the bar and then down at the front. Okay, so the sun loungers and not as plush as the sanctuary ones. They're not, and we're not saying don't do the sanctuary because oh, no, no, we loved it. it. And one of your other tips, we're heading up there shortly. <laughs> we are. But yeah, they're, they're not as plush, but you put a towel on them and they've got the padded headdress. Yes. And they've got some nice comfy seats as well, uh, if you don't want to lie down. But you've also got the pool back here. Yes. Which is actually quite, it's, it's warm. It is, yeah, it's not a cold pool. And whilst it's closed up now, because we're in port and they're doing some work inside the dome at the moment, um, that bit there is, is normally lifted up and you can swim in to out. Yes. And it is quite a bit warmer inside it as well. It, yes, it is, definitely. But yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. It's quiet. It's a port day today. And completely included in the fare. You're not having to pay any more whatsoever. No, not at all. And so even on the sea day yesterday, yes. there was still loads of space no, in No, because I don't think anybody really knows. So come up while nobody knows and um, enjoy it. On to your next tip. Yes. So for the next tip, we appear to be stood outside a restroom. Yes. Now we're still in the dome area. And you can see how quiet it is. We can see, I'm going to say Mount Vesuvius over there for Pom, because we're in Naples. We are. Now what we've got is um, these electronic door restrooms slash changing stations. Now yeah. you will see it's- Which are great for getting changing because they are huge, you'll see They in a are second. big, yeah, they are big. So you can either come up in your dressing gown and your swimwear and pack dry clothes or you can- Vice versa. Yes. So it's a, a wafty door like that. And it opens. Yes. And then you have to remind me, this one. Yep. Yeah. So hold it in front, that's it. And then it, and then it the door close. closes. Now this door is a bit temperamental. It the other ones do close properly, but you have to actually give this a little nudge. I think it's just stuck. I think we're going to look weird now, darling. So, so um, that's locked now. It is. So now take your hand over the lock button. No, again. I want to show people the taps. Oh, okay. Because these taps are a, a law unto themselves. Well, they're not. Once you figure them, they're quite simple. Okay. So you come. The soap is on. I'm doing it from above. The soap is on this side, and the water is on this side. But if you go a bit crazy, you'll be watered first. And then, you, for some reason, it doesn't let you give you any soap. So we're going to go, just surprise again, that's the soap. And that's the water. Now, you might think, well, that's obvious. But you have fun with it. I... And the number of people I've seen struggling with it in the bathrooms, and you have. Yeah. It, it's quite amusing. It's, um, because if I come away now, and also it's a flat bed, it's a flat bed sink. <laughs> So you're going to get splashbacks, so be careful. Yeah, and it's very sensitive for switching the water on, as you just saw there. So if you are coming in here to get changed, don't use the sink for putting your dry clothes on. No, don't. There's no little table. No. We've got a hook. Well, in this one, there actually is. There's a changing one for well, kids. A, I guess there's a changing station well, and some hooks. hooks for hanging your things off. But what? please don't put them on, on the... You... Okay, do you want to try and get us out of here? Oh yes, I'll try. Because I'm very on. aware that we've locked ourselves in the bathroom and this looks weird. Okay, I know, but I, I'm trying to help. So, red one first. 
and then swipe over there. It's not happening. <laughs> Hold it over it, Pat. Yay! Right, have, okay. So you, that's how... You've how, got to do it... Yes. Slowly, surely, and, and, and then you And now we look in, strange then. coming out of the yeah. ladies' bathroom. But <laughs> yeah, we've just come out of the bathroom and then there's loads of people out here, <laughs> which looks really weird. Yeah, but with, with you know, you know why we're doing this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, on yes. to the next one. Yes. Okay, so we've got a quick bonus tip while I'm we're still, still in, in here. still in the dome. I love it in here. What we've got, you'll find also these big comfy cubbies. So if you get up here early doors, and I mean, it's not even that early today, you can get yourself your towels, get yourself cosy, and there you are. Well, You've there aren't many of these ones. No. There's only a couple in the no, whole thing. but they're included and it's the dome. There is. On to the next proper tip. Yes. So next up, your tip is either about a bar, <laughs> you're only sat at a bar, or the sanctuary, which we're sat in. I'm guessing it's the sanctuary. I'm actually sat at the sanctuary bar, which is new for some princess, and it's fabulous. It is. We love it in here, don't we? We do. Now, as you can see, kind of, if Mark pans up, there's a couple of um, hot tubs, and there's a swimming pool, which is, if you've been in a sanctuary before, there's, n there's not usually a pool. It also incorporates the suite area, which is at the back. Now, we found that when it got a little bit blustery, the sweet people came... Wanted to come near the pool down, area. The, down, down yeah. by the pool as well from their private area. But what's your tip for in here? My tip is, I would say sea days, would you agree? Yeah. And also just, there's no, no half day now, so it's full day. Yeah, they, they don't do half days. And the tip is really that... Um, is you're, you're just, I want to be in the sanctuary again. Yeah, right now. I forgot that. And, yeah. and the bar. Um, is that on sea days, yes. it's a little bit more expensive. It's it £99. Yes. And it will be busier. Dollars, I think. You mean $99, that. Dollars, I did mean that. Thank yes. you. Yes. But when it's a port day, yeah. like today, because right now we're in Naples. Yes. A uh, little bit overcast. It was lovely when we got up and it went into gorgeous, Naples yeah. earlier. Um, but when it's a port day, it's only $79. And Perfect. it's super quiet in it's there. It's gorgeous. There's a little bit of plinky plinky spa music. It doesn't blare out as much as it does at the dome at the front. Yeah. It's very relaxing. The dome's great. The food. The, the dome is free. Yes. It's included in your fare. Yeah. There you're paying a little bit extra. But your seating in here is fantastic. You've got food. The food is amazing. And Adventure. the service is yeah. fantastic. But our tip is try and come in on a port day. If it's a port that you've been to, a few times. A few times and you're not bothered. Or you're only getting off for an hour, like we only got off for a short yes. time this morning. Yeah. Then you come in, and you're sit here in all here. day. Perfect day. Yes. On to the next one. Mm -hmm. So you brought us to the back of Deck Nine Lens. Yes. Why? Well, this is the back of the eatery, which is their new reimagined buffet style quick service restaurant. Now, in an evening, this restaurant behind me is Dario's. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. which is blocked by Dario. That's right. And However, then we've got Catch by Rudy at the other side. At the other side. But in the morning, for breakfast and lunch, it, it's like any other buffet restaurant. It's really busy. However, don't worry about coming to sit outside because you think, oh, I'm going to be cold. But they've actually put heaters. So uh, these ones that look like speakers all the way yes, down. Yes. The cosy heaters. And they make a huge difference. I mean, yeah. if we just walk to the back, I'll now, just follow you down once. Now then, they're only at this sort of U shape, Yeah, aren't they? they come not... from here. So inside there where I'm stood now is where the uh, section for Dario's is. Yes. So you come out of the door there. As you'll see, just a little bit further back where there's a, another a salty dog um, type area, grill and a bar. Yes. There's no heating there. But as soon as you get to here, you get these. And if we just walk down to the back towards the wake area. And look at the lovely seating. Yeah, but there's no heating out this bit. There's no, is seating, not heating. There's seating, no heating. <laughs> um, but every time we've come out here, even if it's been in the middle of service and it's absolutely packed inside, it's no pleasure. issue out here. Is and they've got dedicated um, servers, so it's, it's fabulous. And it, so you're not forgotten about or anything like that. But again, you can see all the heaters. Yeah, I think that's quite popular. Sometimes when you're at the outside areas, uh, at the back of buffets or on it, that you, you feel a little bit forgotten about sometimes. Yes. But they are 
just as yeah. many people serving and bringing drinks out here yes. as they did anywhere else. Yeah. So if it's crazy busy, I mean, Even we if love it's it. it's not crazy busy. This yes, has just been our go-to sit-out area, just, hasn't it? It feels so much like you're on vacation. Yes. It's fabulous. Um, we're coming up to the eatery for lunch today. We are. And, uh, and hammering. <laughs> uh, and um, we will be set out here again. Yes. Okay, on to the next one. Mm -hmm. So we've moved about 30 foot since your last tip. Yes. And you brought us to the top of some steps. Yes. Why? <laughs> this is, I would say, the easiest access to the Wake Terrace, which is a lovely bar, pool and hot tub situation at the back of the ship on deck eight. Well, it's, 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 it can be quite a tricky ship to navigate until you yes. get used to it, where yeah. there's not an obvious access point. Because where we are at the back of there, that's at the back of the restaurant. Yes. And you don't necessarily want to walk past the back of the restaurant no. to get to there. No. But if you come by the eatery... Yes. And straight out... It, a really easy access one. And I think because it's not as easy to, to get, get to... To again, it's... Very it's quiet. been really unusual. Yes. We came on here yesterday on the sea day, didn't we? Yeah. And I think it, that was like lunchtime. And they have and like the cutest cubby locations on those corners there. They yeah, are I mean, lovely. someone sat in that one and someone sat in the one at the other end. It's because they're in like prime spot, but yeah. they are lovely. But everywhere else, yeah. no problem whatsoever. And there's a little like coconut you can sit in as well. Is it a coconut that one? I would, I'm calling it a rattan coconut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the next tip. So where have you brought us to now? We're going in the secret glass elevator at the back to a place that's not very well known about, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, the glass elevator is not very well known about. No. And it goes all the way from deck eight up to deck 18. So if you're in the sanctuary, you can whiz up it's and a down. private lift yeah, to, get to up the sanctuary, to there. basically. And, Gorgeous views as you get up. Yeah. But we'll leave that there and go on to your next tip. Mm -hmm. So we just got off of the great glass elevator there. <laughs> no, <is it? laughs> so again, not walk that far. No. And you brought us to? I brought you to a little secret observation deck. On deck 14. On deck 14. So if you come up the glass elevator, turn left. Yes. And you'll see a little red button to get out. And look. Little private at uh, viewing area so if you're in an inside cabin or you're in some lovely scenic cruising Trans area wherever you are yeah you can come up here a great spot. and it's just absolutely lovely isn't it you get some and amazing wake views really I practically no one knows about it no. at all <laughs> do you want to just go up the stairs we'll go up the stairs because also it means you can get some beautiful um, photos. It's just gorgeous. Now, there's no chairs. No, it's a standing lookout area. Yeah. yeah. It's very similar to, like, the little secret areas on Queen Mary 2. It certainly is. There's lots of things about this ship that remind me of Queen Mary 2. I know. The navigating. Yeah, the up and down. Uh, everything. The and we have got one more deck we can go up yet as well. So, again, another viewing platform. Yes. And should we go up to the f next deck? Are we going to do it? Let's do it. Okay. Well, look at these. Just for, like, the. Don't drop your phone. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to drop it. But you just imagine the pictures and everything, just taking in. It's just fabulous. It's such a great view for me because it's yeah. completely unobstructed. That's the word I was thinking. Unobstructed? Yeah. You can have that. <laughs> now, there is a door on here, so you can get in from 15. And then this is the top of the observation yes. areas. Yeah. Well, look how fabulous it is. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? But it's not signposted. No. Um, I don't even know what they call it. Well, we only found they were here because Elliot and Mark from the Cruising Gate, who were on here with us, told, told us, us about yeah. it. And we were like, it's really? wet. <laughs> so we had to share it with you. Yeah. Okay, on to the next tip. 
Okay, so you brought us outside some mysterious black door. That's right. This is the spellbound door. Now, you, there's a dinner for the experience. It is. And then you're led by a top-hatted magician into a secret room. And then from that secret room where you see no escape, you will miraculously escape into a bar. <laughs> now, isn't that your perfect magical escape there, isn't that? That is the. You're getting out of somewhere straight into a ma magical bar. Uh, it's true. And there's an owl. And the, well, I won't give the secrets away. No. Alone we, we will show some footage over this. Yes. Um, yeah. During it. But not much because we don't no. want to spoil anything for no. you. No. But what's your actual tip for here? Well, there's, there's two sittings, isn't there? Now, yeah. we can't necessarily agree on which is the best sitting because there's pros and cons for both, I feel. Yeah. Now, the first sitting, you might not be, I want to use the word lubricated enough to get into the spirit of the magical happenings. You would be once you're in there for a little while. Well, that's true, because then when you go through to the cocktail bar and all the cocktails are included, then you, everybody gets in that magical feeling. It is, and there's no limit. If you want to have one of every cocktail that's in there... You can, I mean... Good wow. luck to you. Wow. Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. Well, you could split it. You could do the co the first few cocktails, then go see the show. You've also had the dinner, so you, you, you've had your stomach lined, so you're not going into it cold. <laughs> and then you will then get to um, enjoy more cocktails after the show and stay in for, for uh, you know, as long as you want, really, is, unless um, you're on the second sitting. Because it does close... I think they said at midnight when we went in, I but think it that's is. subject to change because yes. at the time that we're stood in front of it, yeah. it doesn't officially open no, for another couple of weeks. No, it's soft launch. Um, so that, the times may alter on there. Yeah. But the tip really is, especially if you're not on any of the drinks packages, Yes. it's not a cheap experience because it's, it's $149 no, per person. No, But that includes a chef's table type meal with drinks. Yes. Yes. Then you come here for the show and unlimited drinks when you're in. And yeah. you don't have to leave after that Straight second away. part of the show that no. you were referring to, but we don't want to give away what it is. No. Now, I couldn't find any restrooms in there, so you have to sort of work, go out via the casino through another secret door. And then you get to come to, back in. To get come back in. So, but yes, it, it's fabulous. And you could really get... Serious value for money oh, off definitely. of the cocktails alone. And it's, it's, it's just, it's lovely. It's an incredible experience. Yeah, yeah. On to the next tip. Yeah. Okay, for the next tip, you brought us outside the Princess Arena once. Yes, now the Princess Arena is a whole new theatre design for the Sun Princess. But that means that a couple of the entrances, when you walk into the arena, you find yourself in the performance area, which is not necessarily great if you're a person who arrives late or wants to duck out early during the performance. And we have seen it where the performers do get stuck into people arriving late, late in a very comedic way, which well, is a very funny if you're already sat there watching. Yes. Maybe less so if Not you're one necessarily, of those people. But you're also, if there's a big, like a dramatic um, performance or a singer or something like that, you're going to feel a bit, I was going to swear then, you're going to feel really awkward. And where are you from? Where are you from? You're from Puerto Rico. Wow. I came all the way from London, England. I was here on time. <laughs> Hello? What is happening here? What the hell are you doing? Hello? What is happening? Come in. Hi. Hello. You're late. You're late. Where have you been? Talking. Go and sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I've got a show to do. Right. Thank you, the house. Are you sitting? Are you coming in, ladies? You... So, well, I would suggest coming through this entrance because the, uh, this entrance so, takes you up to the back now i'll show you the sort of wayfinding to to get here but where you'll find that as you go in well you can just open it from there okay. the, the real inside so we can't go right into the arena but when you come through the doors rather than going straight around that corner there go up the stairs go up the stairs there because that bit there takes you straight onto essentially the stage depending yeah, on how it's laid out yeah if you're arriving i mean if you get there in good time it's not a problem or you feel that the show is very you then it's no problem but if you feel you want to sorry guys if you want to um arrive a, if, arrive a bit later or cut it really fine or actually then 
duck out of the show because it's not you, we would Those suggest... Those steps are the way to go. Yes, yes, because you're at the back and you easy escape. On to the next tip. So you mentioned you were going to show some wayfinding for that entrance to get up the stairs. Yes. So the entrance you want is this one here. We are stood in the casino, like a side exit of the casino. There yeah, is... so for bearings when you're in the casino, this is to the right hand side, opposite where the cashiers. Well, I was going to say head areas. towards the gents. Or head to the gents at and, the back. And you will also see there's um, a sculpture if you, you find, because they're not going to, they might move some of this signage, but the sculpture is going to, I can't see them moving the sculpture back and forth. And it's this one here, it's almost. So if you see the big pointy brassy. I would say it almost looks like a treble clef, that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's where we want to go. That's where you want to go. Okay, on to the next one. So for the next tip, you brought us next to one of the interactive signs. Yes, now we've used these signs more than any other princess ship we've ever used because she's very centric in her navigation. I mean, we mentioned Queen Mary 2 earlier. Yes. And you wouldn't think of it being like Queen Mary 2. But she is. Yeah, and there's quite a lot of the decks where you can't get from one end to the other where you're going no. to up and down. So if, for instance, um, you this, just select maybe the restaurant at the I back. I was showing um, the Enclave on yep. deck six. That's a fun one to Okay, find. so if you just press that, so if you press the Enclave button. Yes. Or even take us to deck 14. How did I do that? So when that comes up, you then have an option that says, get me there. I would, yes. You press that. And it then gives you stages as to how to get there. Yeah. So, for instance, to get to the Enclave from here, we go up a little bit to the forward elevator, move down to deck seven, then yes. head off to the midship elevator, then head down the elevator to deck six, and then proceed forward to the destination. Like you say, you've got to sort of... There's a bit... It, it's a bit... Um, up and down it. Up and down it. I was... Yeah. Because if you look at deck six, as you can see... There's nothing down the middle of it. And the rooms then lead into areas where it's crew only, so you can't get all the way through. No. And there's nothing at the front. So, I said, we... <laughs> I feel that that was like, clear as mud, but... Yeah. Well, basically, don't be afraid to use these navigation signs. We've never used navigation devices as much on a ship as we have on this. Now, it's a yeah. brand new ship. It's a brand new ship. So it, it takes a little bit of getting used to it. And, and you, think you might know it because you've been on other princess ships. Yeah. But you don't. You don't. <laughs> you so don't. Having said that, we're now on sort of day five. Oh, and we're getting and our bearings yeah, now. Yeah, I still get turned around a little bit. Yeah. But I know if we want to get to the Enclave or get to the Sanctuary, because, yeah. again, the Sanctuary is one of those ones that you can't get straight to. I would say... On deck 18. Use this and don't feel that, oh, you're struggling with it because it's not just you. No, we've seen loads of people yes. using it. Yeah. On to the next tip. I think it's the final one. The final tip. Ooh. Mm. So for your final tips, mm -hmm. you brought us to one of your favourite spots. I love a laundromat. You do. Why? Well, this one. Not why do you love a laundromat. I do love a laundromat. Come through. Now, you'll have to excuse the noise because people are taking advantage because it's free detergent and free usage. But what I also love about it in here, they're on, I love a speed queen washing machine because they are super fast. So fast, are they? There's two, but they, as I say, for where there's stateroom cabins, and the, mainly there's a laundromat, but you don't have to worry about somebody messing with your smalls because they've put CCTV in. So you won't be have one of those weird situations where somebody has manhandled your washing <laughs> and find that it's been put in a plate, removed from, from, the, from the machine. Yeah. So you, you can go, you can do it, you can leave it, you can come back. And I, I would use the timers. Yeah, and say it on your watch, don't leave it for the day and Ooh, stop no. other people well, using no, it. No, but you don't, you can, you can sort of, Rest easy while it's doing its job. You can, and as you said, completely free. Yes. You know, there's not that many cruise ships that have laundromats. There's even less that have them that are completely Royal free. Well, Caribbean needs to sort it. Anyway, we yeah. love it. 
But, we, but as you said, we've also got the free detergent as well. They've even got the sheets for going sheets. in. The, I don't think I've ever seen tumble dry sheets at another no. laundry for free. Snuggle. <laughs> Love it. And that's the end of your practical tips. Well, another one. Another one done. I hope it's helped. Even if there's just one thing, <laughs> we hope we've helped. So, yes, thank you for watching. Cheers, darling. Cheers, Lance. Even though we haven't got a drink in the stand yet, but we'll be fixing that immediately after this. Cut to when we're getting a drink in a second. Well, yeah. that's what we'll finish on. And have a lovely day. <laughs>